ACS for the week of the 13th of October. I'm Juliana and you're watching this week's news and updates. Sunday the 13th is the start of Math Test Makeup Week for Lower Middle High School. We hope you all did your best on the math tests and completed them all as required. On Sunday, there's a career guidance workshop with Dr. Jones of Kappa Alpha Psi in the theater from 1.30 to 2.30. On Monday the 14th is the Grade 11's MYP Certificate Ceremony, where students will finally receive their MYP diplomas. The ceremony will be in the sports hall from 1 to 2.30 and parents are invited. On Tuesday and Wednesday, there will be a parent-teacher conferences starting 1 p.m. on Tuesday and for the whole day Wednesday. Wednesday will be completely off for students as a result. We urge all parents to book conferences so they can be involved in their children's learning. On Tuesday, there will be a career day event for the grade 10s at Qatar University from 9 to 12. On Thursday the 17th, there will be an Italian cultural night held from 4 to 8 p.m. on the ACS campus in the Maidan. The Great Southern Eight trip to Thailand is open for registration now and will be taking place from November 19th to December 6th. Welcome back to sports. For volleyball, we had a JV game last Sunday against Akis. The girls won second set 25 to 23, but the boys unfortunately lost 25 to 18 second set. Varsity also had a game last week and Wednesday against Akis. The girls won third set 15 to 12, while the boys unfortunately lost 15 to 12 third set. This week, we're gonna have a JV game against GEMS at the GEMS campus at Sunday at 3.15. Varsity will also have a game against GEMS at the GEMS campus, but on Monday, 3.15. Keep on going team. See you again next week. Here is today's weekly call to inspire and motivate you through the week ahead. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill, take a moment to think about that. Winston Churchill, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, believes that success is not the end of the journey and failure is not the end of the world. The key is to keep moving forward regardless of the outcome with courage and determination. Let this be a week you embrace resilience and keep moving forward with knowledge. Speaking of gaining knowledge, welcome, welcome to, to the fun facts segment. segment. Fun fact, a cow and bison hybrid is called a beefalo. Fun fact, in the olden days, people used to use arsenic on their face to improve their skin, but it's actually very poisonous for you. Fun fact, armadillo shells are bulletproof. Fun fact, some octopi species lay up to 56,000 eggs at a time. Fun fact, you're about to watch the next segment. Hi everyone, welcome to Book Talk, your number one source for all the best reads. In this segment, I'll be recommending you some of my personal favorites. This week's book is Little Woman. This book was released in 1865 and it has been turned into many movies, the most recent one being in 2019. This book is about the four March sisters, Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy. Meg is the feminine one, Joe is bold and a writer, Beth is shy and likes to play piano, and Amy is an overachiever and an artist. This book takes place during the American Civil War. While their father is away fighting, the girls overcome various hardships and eventually become more mature. What I love about this book is that the characters all have their own flaws. Meg is vain, Joe has a sharp temper, Beth is shy, and Amy is selfish. But they all work hard to overcome them. Welcome to Jokes of the Week. We are dedicated to making you smile. Why did the bicycle collapse? It was tired. Why did the hairdresser win the race? He knew a shortcut. Do you want to hear a joke about a roof? The first one's on the house. That's all we have for, for today. Hope you have a great week. Welcome to this week's music segment. The song we chose this week is a song from a beloved 1995 Disney movie that talks about being in harmony with nature. During the song, the main character shows her friend how to learn and accept nature as it is. Any guesses? It's Colors, Colors of, of the wind. wind. Here's a snippet of the song. You think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. As you might know, the song is from the movie Pocahontas. In this scene, Pocahontas shows John Smith the beauties of nature, 
and the acceptance for differences that her and her people exhibit. Thank you for joining us for your weekly news and updates. If you have an idea for a news story or updates to share, please email us at goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.